Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm just gonna show you guys basically how I bleach and create my 360 wig. What I like to do first is I like to go ahead and go with the free spray by Got To Be Glue. And I'm just gonna be covering the front of the hair with that just in case bleach seeps through or bleach gets on it. I don't want the hair to be brown or blonde patchy marks. So that's why I put that little freeze tag spray. It's kind of like a shield to me. So I did wash the hair out with some shimmer lights and conditioned it. So right now I'm just using this cap. It's a dome cap. I use either the women's cap or I use the men's cap, but I don't like the net one. I usually like them to be closed and solid. So now you're going to just see me putting the 360 frontal onto the net and I'm going to be positioning it. Your hairline should be at least two inches above. I mean, wait, two, yeah, two inches above the dome cap and I'm just sewing, now I'm just sewing the frontal down to the dome cap and now I'm taking my scissors and I'm just cutting off that extra cap space that we don't need and won't be using at all. And now I'm going to be taking my scissors and I'm just going to be cutting the extra lace that's on there. And I'm going to be going in and starting to sew on my tracks to the hair. I'm not going to go too much in details on how to sew the tracks. You'll see a good view of how I do it. But I'm just going to keep doing that and keep going across. And as I get higher, it's going to be kind of going into like a upside down M position is what I'll be doing.
Now I've parted my hair so I can begin flattening. Y'all know I love me some chi silk infusion. So I'm going to be running my fingers through and putting that in the hair. And then I'm going to be piece by piece flat ironing my hair with my flat iron brush. And if you guys are interested in this brush, I'm not sure what the name is. But I found mine on Amazon. So I'm pretty sure if you type in Amazon flat iron brush, you might just find it. It was only about $11. So yeah. Y'all, I am looking raggedy in the corner with my Haitian flag. I had to caught myself like, ooh. All right, y'all. Hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm wearing hair from euro hair it's a online based website it's not aliexpress it's an online based website and i'm wearing a 360 frontal in the length 20 and i'm wearing only two bundles of 20 and 26 in the previous video i showed you guys how i made the wig so now i have it on my head i haven't even fixed my part but i'm basically going to show you guys how i customize it and how I'm about to sway this wig and honestly I've been feeling like it's time that I switched over to a side part 
because I haven't been wearing side parts in forever but like I swear to you I'm a middle part fiend like I love my middle parts I do it to the side for a little bit and see how it looks if I don't like it I'll just put it in the middle all right so I'm gonna just be flipping it to this side since I'm gonna be wearing it to the side I'm just gonna flip it to the side and fix my part so I can decide on the position that my baby hairs will go in Here's good enough. Do well here. I'm gonna go ahead and take my hot iron and just press right here also I can start to lay down that way. Y'all my y'all need to excuse my nails in this video. I know, I know, I know, alright. It's just I'm going through a hurricane right now. Oh my god, my lips are too pink. I'm gonna have to like bear with me because I'm going through a hurricane right now. And most of the nail shops are closed and I broke my nails during the freaking hurricane. So right now they look like this. But I'm going to get them fixed today. So please don't do me. Nobody better comment down on my video talking about you need to get your nails done because I will fry your ass. Excuse me. Anyway, so so let's see. Oh, now with the baby hairs. Oh my god, my fingers look so dusty. I'm not going to really do too much baby hairs because I'm going for as natural as I can be with the lace. This is, I want to like, because I'm going to get on Instagram and talk about how I got me a fresh perm and I went to Dominican. So like, I want to make this as natural as I can. And as y'all know, I love to use my Gorilla Slot. A lot of y'all been asking me what I lay my hair with and I just use my Gorilla Snot. Sometimes I use Edge Control and Gorilla Snot. I'm actually in the middle of testing out an Edge Control because I want it, I want to like create me like my own Edge Control line. So I am in the middle of testing out an Edge Control, but right now I'm mainly testing it out on like natural hair. And stuff like that i'm not really doing it on the frontals and all that yet but i have done it on the frontals and i see how it works for the frontals and it works good for the frontals so for now i'm trying it out on natural hair like i had on my mama hair and whatnot and we seeing what she how it come out with her and actually my lace is so pushed back right here and it's stuck glued down so Here's a little tip, like when this happens, just pull out a piece from the front, like from the where the lace starts at, and just pull it forward, and like I'm probably gonna do like a swoop forward. Yeah, I'm just gonna, cause it don't look like it's that much hair there. It looks bald, but it's not bald, it's just the lace is way back there. So, look at that. And then your hair gonna cover anyway, so you just push down the other hairs that it comes with, and that's what it'll look like. Yes. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's what this side is looking like, and I'm probably gonna press it out some more. And then I'll just get the wax stick and I'll comb this out. It's okay. Now comb this. Oh my god. I'll comb it some and then get that, get the press. I feel like it do look a little thin here, but it I made my 360s a little too small. I made a 360 frontal before, but this time I don't know what went wrong. Right here. I'm just. I 
always put um this wand curl to my head and i always pull it back so basically i can just have the hairs going back in a nice direction so i can see more where more plucking needs to be done or whatnot so that's kind of why i'm always taking that wand color and plucking it like that just in case y'all was wondering why i do that there's a lot of hair over here like it needs to be plucked more and all and that's good just one swoop right here i love for my swoops to be right here i just I've always wanted like you know those girls that have those really pretty hairlines and like the hairline will come right here and right here so they baby hair swoop. I love that hairline and I don't got it so I create it all the time. And with right here, um, I'm just probably gonna leave a piece. I'm not gonna leave that piece because it don't show. I'm gonna just do one little small baby hair right here. Just just to do it. Just a small piece. I don't really feel like I need a piece of baby hair right there but and if you don't see this it could use some plucking all right i'm not gonna lie though and i'm being 100 honest 360 frontals i think that the quality on 360 frontals are so 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 much different than the quality on like a regular frontal i think the quality on 360s are just amazing like my first 360 frontal i had from austria here hold on, hold on. sorry oh and also like my makeup is just not it to be like this eye anyways this is a hair tutorial um what i'm saying like austria my last my first 360 frontal and it's the last one i've ever had was from austria and the quality of that frontal was amazing it was beautiful, like it was so pretty. It was so so pretty. I swear I didn't want to take that hair out. In fact, I didn't have I didn't even take that hair out. I kept that hair out in I kept that hair in for like a good month. I kept it till the front part started just balding. And the only, I would have kept it longer, but I had other companies to review. But I can tell from how this frontal started to look, it's the same. Like it's the same, like it's good quality period. I guess the same good quality. I like to have my little sideburns hanging, so I'm gonna just take this piece and let it hang as my sideburn, like just like that. And I guess I could just do some brushing of the hair, so I give it a give myself a little something. Yeah, just a little something right here because it just looks empty. All right, so damn, it was super easy to do this hair. And I didn't have to pluck too much hair. But I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I'm not feeling side parts on me. Like, I don't like side parts on me. No more. I used to, but not no more. Yeah. Y'all, I'm putting it to the middle. I'm putting it to the middle. Like, I can't. I don't. All the hair that I don't press to the side like this, I have to put it in the middle. Because I don't. I don't like side parts. I really don't like side parts. But it's pretty for everybody else. I just I'm making my middle parts like. Oh, and I've already pressed this hair and showed you guys how I pressed it. So I'm definitely won't be pressing it again. I'm just taking my wand now and I'm pressing it down so it can evenly and flatly press down to the middle. And basically, I just keep doing that routine. I swear to you, I only do middle parts. Like I tried, y'all. You seen I tried. I tried, I tried, I tried. And also, when I'm using my wand to press it down, I kind of pull it back some so it can fall back instead of like right in front of my hair. And if, here, let me fix my middle part because I ain't gonna lie, my part don't ever be parted in the middle. It'll be parted in the middle. And 
and also guys here let me make this clear as well like i definitely am not a professional at this um i honestly do this or i do this for people but i do my hair and i i make my mistakes like i'm not perfect like as you can see from right here this part is really over bleached so i'm going to show you guys how to fix your over bleached knots grab you some mascara i was actually looking for my brow pencil but grab you some mascara and just do this with it missing a lot of y'all comments so i don't want no one to ever feel like i completely ignore them or didn't answer their question because y'all be coming through with the questions and i get and i like and i favor as many as i can like i really honestly do like sometimes a comment might slip through and i don't even see it but a lot of times like if i'm on the computer i have my google set up so like while I'm on the computer, I might catch a comment and I instantly, instantly click there and respond or answer your question. If I miss it, I can probably go through my notifications, but there's like a lot of comments I've come across and I don't ever even remember seeing them. So even if you comment a couple months from now, your comments still might get liked. Like, but I'm not gonna lie, something about the negative comments got me like, what you doing? You need to go ahead and delete this comment. Like God always, Help me catch my negative comments, but all my sweet ones, like, I'll be missing y'all. And, you know what I'm saying? It's nothing personal. It just really be a lot of y'all. So, you know what I'm about to do right now. I'm just taking my wax stick and I'm going to be brushing my hair back some. Because y'all know I like to have that pushback, sort of. I like my hair to lay a little pushback. A little bit, so... Y'all, I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling this side, like, I'm feeling this side, like. You know what you was doing with this, like. And then this little stick shit, but the little tool. This is like my first time fully really using it. But I'm about to, I'm about to start working in the salon, if y'all didn't know. I'm about to start working in the salon, like, tomorrow, so. I put this little stick thing, you know, just to up in my game and up in the things I go with, like my beauty utensils. So this stick is a definite, this is Cara, it's by Cara Care. And you can get it for between $12 to $20, depending on how strict and how expensive your beauty supply store is. Amazon got it for $12, so. And that prime, that next door prime shit ain't no joke. So, all right. This is the finishing of my hair. This is what I've come up with. You know what I'm saying? This is super pretty. I'm gonna... I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to keep this hair. And I have, like, a whole bunch... Oh, here. Let me finish doing the whole head. I have, like, a ton. A ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of hair. All right, not that much. But I have, like... A whole bunch of hair videos coming up for you guys so I just want y'all to be prepared that's why I'm gonna try to wear these hairs so as long as I can but like stupid hair like you can clearly see is good hair like I don't need to rock it for that long for this bitch I don't know like if you should buy it or not but I know this hair for sure this is my first time wearing it and I co-washed it it's been co-washed and it's been Oh, well, that's it. It's been washed. It's been co-washed. And this is literally the first day of me wearing it. And as you can see, it looks like a million fucking box. Look at that. Like, 
Y'all, I'm about to get my Snapchat at a full. Listen, my Snapchat is Charlene Forever. And listen, I another thing too, I talk so much. Another thing, like, I know y'all be feeling like AliExpress. Stop sending me these raggedy plastic fucking lashes. I got them on right now. I have them on right now. Like, I literally ran out of lashes. So I said, you know what? Let me get me some lashes. Let me put these lashes on. I'm going to take my Chi Silk Infusion. And I'm just going to try to spray my whole top of my head and the side of my head. And here is what the final. Well, this is the final. This is it, y'all. This is it. Ooh. What's that? Don't embarrass me. Don't embarrass me. Don't do that. All right. So this is all the hair. Three bundles, two bundles, and a 360 frontal. This is what it looks like. It um, I'm like five four, so it comes down to like my hips. Y'all already know what 26 looking like. Like, anyways. Oh my god. Y'all help me think. My thumbnail is gonna be on point. Anyways, um, what else am I gonna see? Um, I also wanted to add in another thing. I have, I posted a previous video stating that AliExpress vendors send everybody the same hair. And, um, stop asking me whether this hair was sent to me or not. It doesn't matter. And I did get some comments back on it. And I just want to say that I didn't mean it to offense. Like, I know in the video I came off super harsh. But I was, I get this question asked so much. So... As you guys know, I'm a YouTuber and I do hair reviews, so yes, all this hair is sent to me. If I do purchase some hair, I'll let you know whether I purchased it or I didn't. Well, I'm not going to let you know if I didn't because it don't matter. So if I purchased it, I'll say I purchased it. But if you don't see me purchase, say I purchased this hair, then it was sent to me. So, hey. And right now, as for AliExpress sending companies better hair, my subscriber count is only at 10. I have 12K now. Like, I'm not Malibu. Like, they probably send in Malibu some top-of-the-line shit. But as for hair companies, like, on AliExpress, I get the same hair that they would probably send you. Because a lot of times they sent me some shit hair and I did not review that hair. I, sometimes the hair smokes, I don't review that hair. So, if I'm reviewing it, the hair came to me and it was good. Like, Miss Hair, all those companies, it's all one hair they're sending. I'm not Malibu. Um, so I'm not the makeup doll like those people they probably get the best of the batch or whatnot if that's how y'all feel but I feel like everybody probably gets the same hair if you feel like YouTubers get better hair then when you order your hair tell them niggas you a YouTuber tell them you're a YouTuber like tell them I'm a YouTuber I will blast your company if you give me some bad hair like if that's how y'all feel then make a difference when y'all ordering hair Anyways, so, though, um, another thing I want to discuss is the last hair that I had was a blunt cut bob. I will have a picture inserted right here so you guys can see what the wig looks like just in case you forgot. Everybody's been asking me about this wig and is it for sale? And yes, it's for sale. I'm going to be selling it for $150. I'm selling it way cheaper than the other wigs I've sold because it is a short cut hair. But, I mean... It's short, but I cut it short. Well, it was already short, but I cut it shorter. And plus, I sold that wig and made that wig. So, it's going for a good price. $150 is a price for my blood cut wigs. And I will also, and it is used, so it's going for $150. I will also be having three more custom blood cut wigs in stock. So, well, not in stock. Ready for ready for pre-order. So, I have three that will be available. And each are going for $250. But the one that I'm selling right now is going for $150. So, so be mindful when you do try to purchase it that the $150 is the used one. And the brand new that I have that are three will be $250. So anyways, with that being said, this is Euro Hair. And I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial. I love showing y'all how I slay my hair. Y'all be like, y'all be like, girl, you done stash my edges. I'll be like, y'all don't hype me up. Like, don't get me started. Don't get me started. Anyways, let me get let me just get close up for y'all so y'all can see this little what frontal? What, what lace? No, you really can't see the lace though. Like the lace is right here. And there's no hair hiding it. And you can't even see it. Unless you can't see it through the camera. Anyways, y'all, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Bye.
here with my broke nail. I'm gonna go get my nails done right now. All right, that's it. All right, no, I already said that.